Welcome to this MM Guardian tutorial. My name is Coley, and in this video, I'll show you how to view reports and alerts in your parent app. With MM Guardian, you'll be able to view your child's SMS text messages and also text messages from popular social media apps, such as Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp. You'll also be able to view your child's browsing history. If your child has an Android device, you'll be able to view app usage reports as well. Regardless of whether your child has an Android or iPhone, you will receive AI-powered alerts about messages detected on your child's device for concerning topics such as online predators, suicidal thoughts, cyberbullying, and much more. It's also worth mentioning that the parent's phone type does not matter at all. You can have Android or iPhone and the parent app will work the same way. Now I'm going to demonstrate the reporting and alerts functions of MM Guardian. I'm going to be using the demo mode version of the app found in the parent app. So you can try this all out yourself if you would like to do that before signing up. To access the reports, open your parent app and go to the phone usage screen found in the left menu. Here you will see several boxes with the reported data. In this example, I am showing data from an Android child phone, which is why there is a box for app usage. If the child has an iPhone, there will only be three boxes for messages, calls, and browsing. This data is for today, but you can switch the day by swiping left or right on the screen, and you can update the data by tapping the update button found at the bottom of the screen. To view details about any of the reported data, simply tap on the desired box. So if you tap on messages, you'll be able to see more details about who your child is messaging, and you can read any messages that you deem necessary. The same thing applies to other boxes as far as being able to see more details about the reports. Please note that if your child has an Android 9 phone and you have downloaded the MM Guardian Child app on their phone from the Google Play Store, you won't be able to see call reports due to Google's restrictions. So if you wish to see them, you'll need to install the direct download version of MM Guardian, and you can watch our other tutorial video that guides you through that process. Now I'm going to show you how to access the priority alerts that you receive. You should receive notifications about them and can open them directly from the notification. However, if you would like to view them all, you can do so by opening the left menu and tapping the alert history option. Here, you'll be able to see all of the alerts that have been generated for your child's phone. You can tap them to view the details. Now I'm gonna use the demo options to show you what the alerts will look like. So we'll start off with a suicide alert. And in the demo option, you just minimize the app and the alert will generate a notification. You tap on that and you'll be able to see the details. After that, the alert will be seen in the alert history. And now we'll try it for a predator alert. And there, there's the notification and there's the alert. So if any of the alerts generated are predator alerts like this, meaning your child is possibly being contacted by a predator, you'll see an option to report the predator. If you do so, you'll be taken to a new screen where you can fill out some basic information and submit your report. A trained MM Guardian staff member reviews each report, and if they are legitimate, the report is forwarded to the Cyber Tip Line branch of the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. This process can reduce the time it takes to catch predators from about six months to two compared to if you contacted your local authorities, which you should do anyway. You may also receive inappropriate image alerts. These are alerts when the app on the child phone detects that a picture stored on the phone and for Android for images contained in MMS messages is potentially of a sexual or adult nature. To protect your child's privacy and to comply with state and federal laws, the alert that you receive does not show the picture. You will need to open the child phone app to view the image. The app will store a copy of the image, so it will still be available to you even if the original image was deleted by your child. If your child has an iPhone, when you open the app, to log in, you will need to tap the little eye icon in the lower right corner in order to log in and view the inappropriate pictures. If you wish to disable or enable 
any of the alerts, you can do so in the alerts settings screen found in the left menu of your parent app. You can also enter custom keywords to be alerted about in the text monitor screen of the left menu. And that is all for this video. As always, if you have any questions or require assistance, please reach out to us at support at mmguardian.com and our support team will be more than happy to assist you.